In this video, I'm going to show you six activities that you can do with your learner using 10 frames to increase their mental math skills. Coming up. Alright friends, this is a 10 frame and it's basically just two rows of five boxes, so 10 boxes total. You can make this off PowerPoint or the download has this 10 frame along with uh, some other things I'm going to be showing you. And that, I basically just put it in a sheet protector for these types of activities. And I have counters that I grabbed from a different board game, but you can use different kinds of counters when doing using this activity. You can use um, anything around your house, really. You can use paper clips, you can use food, you can use erasers, you can use little rocks. So this first activity is basically just building numbers. So the learner is going to build a certain number that you give them, or they can use cards such as these, or they can use a deck of cards. These um, also are part of the download. So say for example, I want them to build the number three, and they can build the number three this way. This is just one way. And by doing this, they're learning one-to-one -one correspondence, so they're able to say the number and also um, count each of these counters, one, two, three. When they build the number five, they will notice that the top row is all filled. Um, number five is an important benchmark because um, since there are five boxes in the top row and if all five of the boxes are filled then the number is five. And the learner can understand that they don't need to necessarily count one, two, three, four, five. Since they see that the whole row is filled, then they can just say five. That's it. That's the same thing for when they see that the whole tense frame is filled, then they can identify that there are 10 counters. They don't need to touch each one. They can identify that it is 10. And that is called subitizing when they can identify in a group of objects and know how much they are without counting. The second activity is being able to identify if a number is odd or even. And what you would have to do is you would have to turn this 10 frame so that it is vertical. And say you are getting the number um, 2. You put down 2 and um, obviously it is an even number because um, what I like to tell my learners is that there is a partner for each counter. If they put down three, then they will notice that it is an odd number because one counter does not have a partner. So they can visualize using the 10 frame right away um, what an odd and an even number looks like. The next activity is number problems. So I can give the student a number. So say I give them the number five and they put it at the top and then I would say five plus two and they would put the number the counters at the bottom five plus two is seven the next activity is what I like to call number talks and basically a number talk is trying to figure out different ways to make a number so say for example we have the number seven and I'm just gonna put down seven counters five, six, seven. So um, that's the number seven. We can say five plus two equals seven, or I can move the counters around and I can say four plus three equals seven, three plus four, um, the reverse is seven, I can say one plus six is seven. I think you get the point. So um, we're basically mixing up the different groups to try to figure out different ways to make the number seven. 
So say for example I have the number five and I put a counter down and I tell the learner how much more do I need to get to the number five. So um, they can see oh there's one there already and I need one, two, three, four more to make five. So I just made this number sentence. One plus how much equals five. One plus four equals five. Or we can do the subtraction problem to that, which is five minus the part that I do know, one, gives me the difference of four. So the last activity I have is called Say It Fast. And this activity has the child um, really gain their subitizing skills. So the purpose of the game is to say the um, number of counters as fast as possible. They have to identify the number that I am showing them as fast as possible. So they can play this with a partner or they can play this on their own using a timer. So these set of cards are also part of the download and basically what they do is, or I just show them a card and they have to say the number as fast as possible, four. And obviously if they see that one is missing, then there's four there. Five, nine, seven. I think you get the point on that one. So these cards go up to 20. And when there's 20, there's two sets of 10 frames. And this one says, since there's one missing at the very bottom, that's 19, 17, and so on. So there you have it, friends. Six activities that you can do with your child using 10 frames to increase their mental math skills and number sense. I have a free download for you guys. It has a 10 frames mat, 10 frames cards and number cards, and many other activities that build your child's mental math skills. Question of the day is, what types of activities have you done with your learner using 10 frames? Comment down below, I'd love to hear them. If this video has been helpful to you, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.